about a year ago, I had a client approach me and ask me, look, I want to work with you. How can we make this happen? And myself, I didn't really believe myself. I didn't have that self-confidence that I needed to make it happen yet. So what did I do? I stalled it. I said to them, oh, I'm a little bit busy this week. I can't do the call. And I was doing everything in my power to fight that call, to fight that meeting from taking place. I finally pushed it aside and said, you know what? Let's jump on a call at X time. They were like, yeah, let's do it. We jumped on the call, completely closed the client. We worked together for a two month uh, mentoring program and then we continued as well a couple other months just like here on their little call. What am I, why am I telling you this story? I'm telling you this story because I did not have the self-confidence in the beginning, right? I was literally in the place where you're probably at right now where you were fighting these opportunities with all your energy to just say, look, I don't want to do it. At least you think you don't want to do it. The actual thing that's going through your head is that you think you are not capable of facing these challenges and the demands that are set forth for you. Right, so that's what self-confidence is. It's the trust of knowing that you can face any challenge or demand that comes your way. And once you're more self-confident, you're gonna be more focused, energized, and motivated to hit your goals. You're gonna be start achieving the things that you've always wanted to achieve simply because you believe in your ability to do so. Confidence is built upon previous success. That is, I can remember a time, like I think back maybe somewhere I was playing like uh, some type of sports, or, you know, I did something successful in the past. And I keep that thought in my mind because I've already done something before. I've already done something successful. Everybody has, whether that's learning to talk, learning to walk, or doing something else, you have had successes in the past. So what you need to do is remember that past success and bring it forward to the future, right? Bring it forward, in fact, to the present where you are now. And just remember, look, I've already done this. I've already had successes before in other areas of my life. There's no reason that I can't fight this task and get it done. There's no reason that I can't learn how to accomplish the challenge that's in front of me. You just have to go and do it. You just have to focus on your past successes, on that positive feedback that you've got and not your negative feedback. You need to forget about the failures, forget about the time you fell over while you were playing football and remember the time that you made that goal. Forget about the time where you had a failure, which is really just negative feedback, and focus on the positive feedback that you've had from another area of your life. As I said, everybody, and I mean everybody, has been successful at some point in their life, even if it's as simple as learning to talk or learning to walk. Keep a certain point in your mind, think about it right now, think about a time, pause the video if you have to, think about a time where you've been successful. And I want you to hold on to that as hard as you can. Hold on to the emotion, feel the energy of what you felt when you made that success. Now, another way to do it is by visualizations. What you've got to do is visualize this time and repeat it. Just keep repeating it in your head. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, right? The past experience. And it will get to the point where you will realize, look, I already done something before that was a challenge. I became successful at it and I can do the same now. But even more so, if there's a particular task that you have in mind that you are a little bit you know, more shy about and you think that you can't do it, just practice in your head. Practice how you're gonna do it. If it's like a sales meeting, for example, practice the sales meeting in your head. Visualize it over and over and over and over and over again. Your brain doesn't know what's real and what's fake. Your subconscious doesn't know that. It just takes what we give it and it works on that. So if you visualize the fact that you're actually doing something, for the same example, a sales meeting, you just come like just continuously practice it in your head. Your brain will think it's real. Your brain will think that you've had the successful experience because you've been visualizing it and it will go and make it happen for you. It will make it feel like you've done this a thousand times before. Just like me shooting this video right now. I practiced it in my head a thousand times, so I know that it's gonna, I feel more confident doing it because I've done it a thousand times already. In actual fact, I haven't. I've probably only filmed like a hundred or so videos on YouTube, but the point is I've pictured it in my head thousands of times and therefore I know that whatever happens, it's gonna be okay. And that's what it is. It's knowing that whatever happens, you are going to be okay. And you will be okay. I also want to change the way that you think about failure. All right, the way that you think about failure and success even, right? These things are not failure and they're not success. It's feedback. That's all it is. It's either positive feedback or negative feedback. 
It's the way that life works, right? We do a task, we get feedback from it, whether or not the task was successful or not so, and we learn from that in order to improve in the future. Different little things to make the task that you're achieving more successful and building on that feedback that you've been given. To quote Thomas Edison, I've not failed 10,000 times, I've not failed once. I've succeeded in proving that those 10,000 ways won't work. What does this mean? This means that you've got to feedback those times that you failed. You haven't failed. You're not a failure. You've just simply got negative feedback, something that you've done incorrectly, and now you need to improve the way that you're doing it. Add a new routine, improve a system that you've got in place, create a system to make sure these things don't happen and instead you move towards the positive side. That is the way that we grow, that is the way that we improve, and that is the way that we become more successful. Now I'll be honest with you, there's some days where I'm feeling it myself that I'm not exactly as self-confident as I usually am. But I get this back really easily now because I know these little, little tips that will help me get there. The main one is self-talk. I would just tell myself randomly throughout the day that I'm, I'm kind of crazy I just talk to myself because you know what it works and the self-talk all you have to do is realize look no matter what happens I'm going to make it I can already see the finishing line I have nothing to lose and everything to gain just think this over over and over in your head I have nothing to lose and everything to gain I'm here to get feedback it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter if your first attempt is mediocre or if it's terrible or it's a complete flop. It doesn't matter. The point is you now have feedback to come and implement it in the future to do better. Use that self-talk, talk to yourself, tell yourself, look, it doesn't matter if it comes out terribly. What matters is that I get the feedback so I can improve it and make something special in the future. You can't be thinking all about the present. You have to think about the end goal, which brings me on to the next point of having a strong vision. Know where you're going. Define it so well that you feel how you're going to be feeling in the future. Again, like I said, your brain doesn't know what's real and what's fake. So if you visualize this, if you have a vision of yourself in the future, being super self-confident, having great self-esteem, and all of these positive traits, then you can bring that into the present by simply having that strong vision in your head. Then every time that you're feeling a little bit self-conscious and you're like, oh, I don't want to do this, you're going to pick back up your energy and say, you know what? No, that doesn't matter because I have a bigger vision that I'm trying to reach. My journey is bigger than me at this point. It's not about me anymore. It's about you guys. It's about growing something that I'm proud to have. It's about meeting that vision that I've got in my head. And that's why I can't stay in bed all day. I have to get up and make things work. I have to bring that energy from without and bring the energy from within and make things happen. And you guys have to do the same thing. Now the very last point that I'm going to share with you is a little bit woo woo and some of you might think it's crazy and I was at first, I thought it's not going to work but I was kind of desperate so I thought I would try it, right? It's hypnosis. What does that mean? You don't have to go and see a therapist and sit in a quiet room with candle blowing, it's not what you need to do. You simply need to download some simple app, I think it's free, I'm going to leave the link in the description anyway and it's called Mindset. Now what this does is it plays a hypnosis tape on repeat, they will explain it way better than I can but I'll tell you my best benefit that I've got from it. it takes half an hour a day I do it every single day and I just listen to these little exercises that run through my earphones I just lay there I enter hypnosis state a subconscious unconscious state where you're taking in all of this information that the hypnosis person is saying to you on the track they're gonna be saying little exercises for you to do you run them through in your head and you become a better version of yourself by doing so. If you don't believe in hypnosis, that's fine, but give it a try. It costs nothing, it's completely free. Just give it a try and see what it feels like. I know for a fact you'll be more surprised because I was also. I didn't think it would work and it ended up doing wonders for me. The last thing that I want to let you know about is obviously to be more self-confident, you need to be surrounded by self-confident people. In order to help you do that, what I've done is created a free Facebook community group just for subscribers and followers of my content. Just click the link down below. It'll be the first pinned post. It'll be a link there for Facebook. Join the group. It's gonna be me that I post exclusive content a few times a week. But more importantly, there's gonna be a group of people that you can talk to on a daily basis create those friendships, create those relationships with people who are trying to do the same thing as you by improving their mindset and becoming more self-confident. That sounds like something you're interested in. Click the link in the pin post, join the community, 
and become more self-confident altogether. So guys, that concludes the video. I really hope that you got tons of value from it. If you did, please click like, but more importantly, click the subscribe button so you do not miss out on future videos. I upload about four times a week, all about mindset specifically for entrepreneurs. So if that's yourself, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. My name is Reese, and I will see you again on Tuesday for another video.